You guys need to hand it off. So then we need to figure out how to put it onto our Facebook page like we used to. You told it in your dad already? You told it in your dad already? I think we're running. So your dad's pissed about that. I got the chime on my phone that, that you've posted a live video. Uh, funny thing, I think right when I went into high school, I just left. Uh, it doesn't show that it's live, but I'm pretty sure it's yeah, live right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's roll. All right, let's do it. People can fill us in and let us know if it's working. Uh, so, welcome back to Friday Night Flies. Tonight's uh, the first filming here, or episode as we like to call them, will be a lengthy one. We are working with a brand new HD broadcasting software. So we're working out some kinks. Uh, one of them is telling whether or not we're even live, which one part of the uh, software says we are, and another uh, part you know doesn't indicate from our homeboy Zach. that we're, we're going. We're Zach, alive. thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Woo! Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm just rambling, not sure what's going on. But uh, it's Friday Night Flies. We're obviously brought to you by Pemberton Fish Finder, where we talk trout. And we're in the beautiful Spud Valley Sporting Goods. Let's see if I still remember it. 1380 Birch Street, downtown Pemberton. Right, well Boom! Well give a shout out to Reddington. You look I, like I am the Reddington uh, whore. <laughs> uh, yeah. But right now, but big shout out to uh, Superfly has been a great supplier for us. Um, we're actually in the works of of kind of picking up more of their stuff coming they into the shop. They they yeah, do they they've sent us a few goodie boxes. So keep those goodie boxes coming there, Superfly. We enjoy them. And uh, Anvil, I believe. Uh, Anvil USA. Baby. I think we're both working on our new pair of scissors. I didn't bring mine tonight. They stay in my nice bench. They're a little expensive to be bringing here. But uh, Might as well yeah. say uh, a quick shout out to Bass Pro for Watson too. Bass Pro, yeah. We like Bass Pro. Um, you sent us some gear. We yeah, we've met things. we've met Zach from there. So Zach, you got to start working on those corporate boys to start hooking Friday night flies up a little bit and maybe get in that company jet and fly up here and uh, come and do an episode with us. Okay, so what are we tying tonight? So uh, tonight we are tying BK. Um, the BK, which is. Stands for a secret uh, fisherman in the area here. He's very, very famous. The Brad Knowles. That's the BK. You've probably known of the BK Dragon from last year. Crazy the hot fly. The smack but this is the uh, BK Sprot. And we'll call it the Sprot. It's a variant. Because this I is a variant. And I'll Good. show you the original here. I, you I didn't want to steal the original from Brad. You know, that's his thunder. So this is a variant. But it's named after the hook. It's a mustad sprout, which is a giant sized hook. It's a three aught. We tie them on both three aughts and four aughts. Yeah. I think this, this is, is the four. four. I use a lot of the three aughts and I so, tie a bunch more. So are we up top still? Big hook. Oh, and we're at both. We're at both. We're at both. Look at that. Big so, hooks. Let's go down. We'll get to it. And uh, yeah, we'll get going and I'll keep rambling as we go. Uh, so as you can see in the vise there, it is a big fly. We've been getting a lot of chum on there. This color here in particular is also banging the cohos. Um, big fly, a lot of deer or bucktail on there, keeps it right and right, and that's been the uh, the secret to our success this chum and coho season out on the Squamish River. This is our number one fly. It's our guide fly, too. It's the guide fly. It's the guide fly. So mine's a little fancied up a little. Um, yeah, so as I say, mine's fancied up a little, but uh, as the guide fly, we do... Uh, we do simplify it quite a bit. Ugh, so my variant has a little bit more of the bells and whistles. So we got this nice big hook on there, the sprat, and I got the four aught. Uh, huge bead. Get the biggest beads you can get. I don't even know what size it is anymore. Monster bead. I don't even know what size that would be. It's a quarter. <laughs> it's huge. That's all I know. I go to the fly wall. Oh, no, I, I'm a bead head. Right, well, um, I go to the fly wall and I just like, what's the biggest bead there is? Boom, that's it. Give me all the colors. Um, so mine's a, a green colored fly. Uh, pink's been really hot. And uh, orange, not so much. That's awesome. It's, it's a big ass bead. It's just a big <laughs> ass. I don't even know what size it is. I know it's not 316, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, you know what it it's is. It's bigger than a three sixteenths. That's the biggest ones you guys got on the wall. Oh, seven thirty seconds. They're pretty big too, but I think it's bigger now. I think it was. I think it's quarter. Quarter. 
I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Big. Anyhow, you're going to get your big thread on there. And again, uh, so I'm using 6 aught orange, fire orange here. Um, we're going to start with making our tail. So you got your chartreuse marabou. Uh, here's a little trick. There's there's a great flyer tire, Davy McPhail. Know what he does with all his marabou? He goes and he washes it all. Um, because when you get these packs, you notice a lot of it's all stuck together from the dyeing process. So if you go and wash it, yeah, it bleeds out the stuff and it also makes all your marabou really fluffy. Here's my trick. Toothbrush. I usually do this on the side of my bench on my chair. I just lay that marabou down and I just go through it with the toothbrush. And what it does is it gets rid of all that sticky stuff. You know, usually we share all the uh, social media out takes with every other social media like Twitter and all yep. them and this and that. But tonight we are struggling to learn a new system. So bear with us. I'm gonna, we're going to rough it up for the first show. Yeah, it's not on all our normal <laughs> outlets is what <laughs> you're trying to yeah, get at. Yeah. So bear with us. It's a new system, and it seems to be a whole lot better. When you go to this one. So what I'm doing here, one or two? I know uh, you'll see in, when Brad does his version, eventually if you can convince him to get on there, he just takes the feather and just lays it down. <laughs> Me, I like to pick the fibers off. That way I get a little bit of a bushier tail on there. Just takes a little bit more. So if I'm doing the guide fly, yeah, I'm going to take this whole thing, stick it on there. This is my personal stash. This is going right into my personal. So I just get a little bit more of a fluffy tail by doing it this way. All right, tail is the length of your shank. And one, two, three, four. Good solid turns on there. Get this stuff out of the way. Um, underneath the, the live, we've got a chat window open. If you guys have any questions, oh, we do. Hit us up. Yeah, do it up. The big dog is ready to answer your questions. All right. All right, we're going to get rid of your access, and I'm just going to tack all this down. It's the nice thing about this big fly is you don't have to be too precise. Get it in there. Uh, next on the tail, we're going to do a little bit of flash. So this is pearl flash. I'm going to take two pieces. Boom. All right, so I'm going to get it put on one side and then fold it over to the other. There you go, just trap that in there. Fold these two air in pieces over, trap it with your thread, and work it back so that you got it two stripes on both sides. Trim that to your tail length. Boom. Done. Next, uh, let's do our ribbing, which is... I even forget what this is called. It's been a while. UV polar? Polar chenille. Polar chenille. There we go. I love it. So I got this nice bright blue color, and we are just going to tack it in by the tag. So there are, there is a right way and a wrong way. All the fibers on this strand are all leaning towards the back of the tail. That is the end I want to fasten. So therefore, when I wrap it up, all the fibers sweep backwards. So we're going to tag that in. And now the body material that I use has been this medium trial, I don't even know what this is, it's an Antron chenille, beautiful stuff, I just found it, oh, I'm liking it. Antron chenille? Yeah, check that out, right like there. It. I've been using a lot of cactus chenille. Well, I ran out, so I had to find <laughs> something else, and I couldn't find it to replace it. So we're going to get that Antron on there, and I found this, and I was like, whew, let's give this a whirl. And work all the way up. All right, so let's take this chenille. Work it up the body. You don't have to worry about this thing being too fancy. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, we want to spend more time fishing, less time tying these doggone things. Because, to be honest with you, coho... And you go through these things like crack. Yeah. I don't know how many I've tied in the last three weeks. Hundreds. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, you probably 
Huh. Well, we've been running. We, we just changed our gear over to nine weights and big wheels, <laughs> lots of backing. Because they will take your fly line pretty quick. Oh, yeah. They'll run you well into your backing. And then we're going to take it's funny, our we polar chenille. Between the guides, we've been kind of comparing bruises and split knuckles. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They sure can scream some lion ace, buddy. Oh, yeah. I was convinced I had broken my thumb there for a while. <laughs> oh. Between times, how many clients we've had oh. come off the water dripping in blood? Bloody knuckles. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is just awesome. You can't help but chuckle. <laughs> yeah, because we've all been there. We've yeah. all been there. You Leave tell them you do it once oh. and you'll never do it again. But they always seem to do it a second time. They don't believe us the first time. <laughs> all right, so you get a nice big wide spaced rib going up. You don't want to kind of overdo it with the uv chenille it's it's to give movement so if you do it too much it picks up too much water and it looks like this big fat thing flowing through um it's just to give it a little extra something something uh now something that i do is i've been using this gorilla glue before i attach my bucktail because with these big flies they get used and abused with these big chums so anything you can do to make it a little bit more bomb proof really helps so I put a good dab of that right on the back of the bead. Right on the back behind the bead. Now I'm going to grab my UV blue tip dyed bucktail here. I believe that was some from Superfly. You know what? I've been going through the bucktail like, poof. Yeah. Like Cheerios in the morning, if you know what I'm saying. And then I just want that length to be just... Barely so those wisps were just hitting the end of that marabou tail. So that's my length. So trim it square. Set it on there right behind that bead. Give it a good couple loose turns. Just sneak those tips back to the bead. Crank her down nice and tight. Move your thread back a few wraps. And get her in there all nice and tight. And be pretty heavy. Like I said, these chum and uh, coal have been really beating up our flies. I'll just pop that bead right back into the good position. And there we go. First break off of the season. Hey, you're off to a good start. That's uh, first fly. First break. Have fun time, flies, guys. Good night. Good night, Jackson. So... Getting a little aggressive with that. But whatever. We'll get her back on there. Oh, there we go. So really bomb proof that, that top wing. And then uh, my other little added thing for my personal stash that I've been doing is using this glow-in-the-dark flashaboo. So I take uh, two strands of this glow-in-the-dark flash. See you, Sheridan. Fold it over once, trim the middle, lay it on your buck. You want to get it right in the middle here. So we'll go one, two, fold it over. And then let's secure this down. And then last but not least, we're going to do a little quick. There should be a few less distractions here now that the store would just lock the door. It's that time of day. Yeah. And uh, there's another nice product we've been using, Spirit River Lightning Dubbing, is this one? Yeah, Lightning Dubbing in the Chartreuse. We've been using a lot of that this this fall. Yeah, we didn't really make a material list, but uh, we're going to have the full material list. will be on the website, FridayNightFlies.com. So if you guys want to fly at it, try it later. I mean, the, you can pretty well tie this fly just from the videos because you can go back and watch it again if you need to. See how well kept Scott's fingernails are. Because the videos are in true HD now, aren't they, Scotty? Yep. Hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. So I like to do nice three, three foot finishes on these guys. Little head cement. There you go. You got the loon. I've been trying this product, which is their water. It kind of goes on neat. I don't know if it holds. Come on, come on out. I don't know if it really binds as well as the other head cements, but it sure does just like soak into that 
thread at the head. Was that Luno Dor's new water based stuff? Yeah, it's the water based stuff. Yeah. It's not as aggressive on the smell either. Hey, you notice that? Oh, that you Luno don't even Dor's notice it. Yeah. Hard. Oof. But so I've been trying that out. Mm, the wraps have been holding actually, so it must be working. But uh, there's your fly. Finished product. Bang these off. If yeah, you're not talking in between. Your thread hanging still from your earlier break. Oh, yeah, from my early break. Yeah, that wouldn't even matter. And I'm all super glued up. So, bucktail is the key to this fly. And it uh, keeps your fly riding straight up on the swing. And it's just been hammered. Yeah, it's pretty well. If you don't get on the first cast, you definitely get on the second cast. Yep. Anyhow, we'll go back up to scene number two here. Right on, right see, on. See the Reddington branded, well branded man. It just happened to be what I was wearing today. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching us on Friday Night Flies. The episodes will get better as we understand our new software. But uh, yeah, join us again on another tie. I don't know what else. It's been a while. I remember how to <laughs> intro, but I forget how to exit. No, Cut the tape! Cut the tape! If I can only remember how to shut this darn thing off now. Yeah, that's the other thing. Let's see if we can uh, end the episode. We're so, gonna try. I'm just going to keep rambling until it cuts out on me one day. I ran out of ramble. You want to see? Get out there. Get fishing. I get wet. Done now. I hope it is.